What's up, fam? Welcome, uh, Mikasa is Sukasa, and vice versa. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's so funny to do this this way, but it's, yeah, yeah good vibes. It's become kind of like our new, our new normal, and it's a little weird, but I mean, at the same time, you it's know. really cool to, to see everybody get hella creative with it all, man. So, like, let's, totally. let's go with it. You've been, you've been sharing your music through this new way of social distancing, man. Like, yeah. how, how different is it from your perspective, homie? Very different. I mean, I, so I've been, um, luckily, I've been, you know, holed up with a couple of my best friends who I write and produce a lot of my music with. So we're like, I, I just put out my album, but we're already working yeah. on like a bunch of the next stuff. Um, and I want to drop some songs like throughout this whole thing. Um, and then I've been making random beats for like TikTok, which I yeah. wanted to show you. I wanted to <laughs> yeah. show you something today. <laughs> we got to get into this, dude, because that's one thing that's been super cool is that like creatives such as yourself have luckily for those who have been in the area where they do where you do create or with some yeah. of your, your buddies or your you know your your uh your, your compadres your collaborators uh, you've been finding a way to still keep yourself busy and to keep those parts of your brain moving dude so exactly uh, how fun has that been this new challenge it's been fun you know honestly yeah like I feel like just staying occupied and trying like new things is sort of the secret to like staying sane throughout all this, you know, yeah. it's like, yeah. whether it's music, trying different things musically, or like, I'm just starting to watch some shows. Cause I usually am so busy that I don't really watch any TV. Yeah, you, you so like you. I was watching, um, I didn't finish it, but I was like watching Tiger King and then I just started watching Succession last night. Dude, two clutch shows, bro. Like two clutch I know. shows. <laughs> yeah all right so crazy. before we get into making the beat and before we get into that um let's let's one address how insane tiger king is um i mean i couldn't even get through it it's just so not, i mean i just can't believe one like the the conditions that's going on for these animals and then also yeah. like when you find out how little joe is paying all of his employees and like it's crazy there's so many layers to this program so, like, there's so many so layers. many layers and then the music he's making too you're like what yeah, <laughs> dude. All right, second, I want to progress, and I want, I want to shift over to uh, to your music in in modern loneliness, particularly this yeah. song, man. The lyrics are hitting way different, and I know that you didn't, you couldn't have anticipated this. You you had no right. idea. And to what we've talked about before is to write from your heart and to watch so many people, you know, kind of take their own stories and find their own way to really collectively jump on to the lyrics and songs but this one yeah. it relates to everyone now man yeah. um how, how special was that song to you then and even more so now oh i do yeah it's such a trip i mean that song has like been the most special song for me so far in my career you know it's like i got a tattoo dedicated to it and um i love it so much and it's definitely it's a weird feeling to know like how, kind of what's what's going on right now and how the song relates to this moment and I think you know in a good way and a bad way because you're kind of like you know Dan like this is really going on um but one thing I'm really excited for is we actually just shot a music video for the song that is all yeah. like the director FaceTimed in it was just me and my best friend who's my creative director we were living together we did everything on iPhone around the house yeah. and that's going to come out really soon I don't have a date but it's going to come out super soon and I'm really excited about it dope dude yeah I'm not gonna lie I've been I've been following I Hopped on the TikTok trend, dude. I had to send you the. Video. I saw that it was amazing. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. I mean, I've been I've been following what you've been bringing to us from your crib, so it's been special. And thanks, I've said this to a couple of the other artists I had the chance to chat with. I was uh, doing some IG live stuff a bit back with Fletcher and and Louis nice. Capaldi even, and it, it just yeah. it really it really means the world to us fans that you're allowing us to uh, to still be a part of your journey, even though it's it's. The trajectory has changed dramatically so no, uh, man, we appreciate super that fun. yeah dude no. um yeah. so what we came we came here equipped in the studio bro you got, yes. your, you got your equipment you got some stuff in yeah how do you do this beat making thing because it is such a special like what the well, hell usually usually i just sit on this couch and that's all i do there's no okay. beats being made. Okay. just sit on the couch for endless hours no i'm just kidding um <laughs> yo facts though i mean I'm, i've got the same gray i got the same gray in the back dude the, yeah the company. i love it gotta be cozy. <laughs> um i don't know i got a i got a bunch of different stuff around me but for the beat i'm about to show you it was literally just um my iphone and like a couple of drum sounds and in, in ableton Art? so basically it's really weird it's a very weird beat you could hear hear it on my tiktok it's like a 15 second thing but i basically was like All right, i'm gonna make a really weird noise so i go okay. I like turn my voice memos on my iPhone and I'm just like, wee -dee -wee -wee. 
literally that. And then I record oh, that. I, I know, it's super weird. And then I send that to my computer. <laughs> okay. Flip and so I'll show you. And then so I pull it into voice, my, I, From a voice memo, it goes from your iPhone to your computer. Okay. Yeah, and it becomes like this audio file right here. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I just like throw some effects on it, like a little verb. All right. I'm feeling it. All right, so just like a really weird sound. It's like some reverb and whatever. Let me just and tell then, you real quick, Lau. Let me just tell you real quick. Just that little tiny loop of your voice right there already low-key slaps. Like it makes you want to bounce. <laughs> Hell yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Okay. All right. It's so hard to hold the camera and then also try to do this. Let me see how I can oh, yeah, do this. Dude. Yeah, we got you, dude. No worries. All right, you know what? I'm going to do this. Okay, so basically... Oh, yeah, so, I, so yeah, you saw the screen. There we go. Oh, yep. yeah, that's good. This shit is annoying. Dude, this okay, is, this, and, this, and this is one of the things, let me just let you know that we are all dealing with that same struggle. Like, how do I you know. sit down the phone and communicate? And when grandma I know, it's so I weird. Know, I hold iPhone and FaceTime. It's one of those weird things that we're all going through, dude. <laughs> it's very weird. Okay, so, yeah, so we have that sound. So you just have a little, like, and then, like, add, like, some snares. Like, <laughs> and then maybe like, okay, so you got, you got that little vibe and then you all got right, you know, all right. this little, little, just a bunch of snares and then you got to throw in like this little 808. Explain how important is like the 808 to a beat maker? How Dude, the is 808 is everything. So I'll play you the beat without the 808. Well, first I'll play the beat with the 808. So the Work. final beat is like, the, basically the final beat's like this. It's super simple, but it's like, um, okay, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's just like so dumb. But... <laughs> Okay, so but that, here's the thing, like, technology nowadays, man, would you have, let's go back, you know, 18 years, let's go back to like ba baby loud, little, little tiny art, and you know what I'm saying, yeah, not, yeah. not knowing where your, where your musical, you know, uh, talent was going to grow to where we are now, would you have yeah. ever thought that there would be a time where you would be able, while you're in your crib, to whip out your phone, say something on your voice, and then turn it into something that could quite possibly, if you do elaborate on something like this, end yeah. up on the album. How nuts No, I know. I, honestly, no. I mean, yeah, I, it took me, I think I Like Me Better was the first time I made a song where, like, I just did something weird on my iPhone, and that became, like, the riff, you know? Up yeah. until then, like, I never really thought about how easy it is. Like, now I've made a few more of these beats that are just, like, me saying random things or making random noises. Yes. And, like... I don't know, even something that's like, you look at like The Box by Roddy Rich and like that. Yes. Like if somebody was like, oh, that's going to be a fucking banger. Like nobody would have like. like nobody would have known. Yeah. Nobody would like, know. like, what is that? Holy shit, this is so it's like cool. anything can be a beat now, you know? Um, as a songwriter and, and a music like a person, I mean, this is, it's flowing through your blood, man. Um, to see that everyone can really tap into that, if that's where their heart leads them. How special is it for music as a whole to know that like inspiration can come from anyone, anywhere, at any time? I think it's so special, man. I think it's the best time ever for music. Like we have at, at, at any moment you can make something with like the littlest technology. Like it's just like yeah. so easy. You know what I mean? Like it's so cool. I think uh, it's the best. Now, um, do, you, do you think that some of these corn, and I've, I've seen this kind of float around the internet a little bit, these corn tunes. Do you think that uh, a lot of these beats and a lot of these kind of, um, you know, just off the cuff ideas are going to materialize into full projects for you? Or are you still yeah. going to keep it in? No, place? totally. I mean, I want to, I might drop something, a little something soon. I want to. I'm still like, I'm still working on a bunch of songs. And I know like for my next album, I'll probably make most of it during this time. Like I'm straight up yeah. like making so many songs. And they're not all like, they're not like quarantine songs, you know, they're just like real songs that I'm making during during this time so to have um, your, to have your homies around you um how yeah. important is that i mean i know there's a lot of people right now who are isolated like completely i've got yeah. i got friends who are 
in New York apartments. They're like 300 square feet, you know, going yeah. through, doing the right thing, staying away. But how special is it that you're able to at least be around uh, a collective family, you know, friends? Uh, yeah, that you could at least- it's so special. I mean, yeah, I got my sister with me and then two of my best friends. And, you know, we have the studio and we have my dog and yeah so super oh. lucky you know and when we get when we get tired of each other we just go in our own room and like facetime other people and um <laughs> yeah I, I i don't want to keep it too much on this uh, before i let you go here in a bit i want to keep it too much on this being isolated type of thing and I, I like to really start to think a whole lot more optimistically man and just uh how rewarding it's going to be for us as as a, as a as a human race to come out on the other side of this um gosh man what's it gonna what's it gonna feel like what do you think those those emotions are going to be when you're able to hit the shows again, you're able to hop on stage and you're able to see that throughout this crazy time that you are able to still connect with your fans, but then on this other side, it's going to be even that much more insane. What's that going to feel like for you? Dude? Yeah. You know what? I think my biggest fear is that it's not going to feel, it's going to like not feel changed, which is like, I, I don't, it, I don't think it's going to be that way, but that would be the biggest shame. You know, if it like we go through all this and then we go back into normal life and we're like, Oh, okay. So for yeah. me, I'm just like, I'm trying not to anticipate it too much because I think the more I anticipate it, the more it's going to be like, okay. But I'm just going to be trying to like carry everything I'm learning through this experience, you know, to then, you know, just like really a lot more using, as corny as this might sound, but like using my phone for like more like productive things, like actually calling people I haven't spoken to in a long time and like reaching out to my family and, and doing stuff like that and like learning how to be with myself and learning how to just do like things like watch a movie or play a board game or, or take a walk or whatever it is. And um, I think it's going to be crazy though. I think when, when this, when this is over and everybody can like do their own thing again, I think concerts are going to be insane. The um, I, I think everything's going to be crazy high energy. Yeah, dude. I'm looking forward to it a lot, dude. Me too. Um, hey, before I, before I get you out of here, I want to, I want to rewind time a little bit and ask you, I know the last time we saw each other in real life was like right around your birthday and you were headed to Tulum, dude. How, how was the trip? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, that was like my favorite trip I've ever taken. It was like right before Christmas and we actually flew home the day of Christmas and um, it was just so fun. You've been before, yeah? Yeah. Oh, dude, isn't yeah. it just so, it's, it's surreal. I mean, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's peaceful. It's, um, it's, un, gosh, dude, it's, un, it's, it's untouched for the most part. I mean, you know, yeah. when you find those little pockets of the globe where you get to actually, uh, you know, live in a more retrospective and just kind of, no get away from all of that stuff. I mean, you need to recharge yeah. the battery and it feels so right. So I remember we were talking about that, man. I was like, you're going to have a blast. Dude. So I'm glad you yeah. did it. That place is special. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. I want to go back one of these days. I know. Me and my yeah. friends talk about it all the time. They want to go back to Tulum. <laughs> That's what all it is. Um, if you need any lyrics for the beat, I'll, I'll, you know what I'm saying? I'll slide into the DMs. I got you. <laughs> hell yeah. But nonetheless, yeah. man, I just want to say, uh, Really appreciate everything that you have, we've said this several times, man, that you have done for us as, as music fans to really fall in love with lyrics that come from a really just special place. You've done it time and time again. I don't, I'm not gassing you up or anything, man. What you've done to, uh, to really express who you are, the challenges that you've gone through and that we've all collectively been able to realize, damn, I'm, I'm not alone. Uh, yeah. It the world to us, dude. So even this little back and forth is, is, is super sick, dog. So that's why. Oh, thank you. Before, man, forever friend, bro. I got you, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Likewise, man. Thank you. Tell the fam I said what's up, dude. Give Bill a little, yeah. little you know, rub on the head for, for your dude. And uh, you know what I'm saying? You guys have a blast out there while you're staying isolated, all right, as best as you can. Hell yeah, man. Stay safe. All right, man. I'm going to try. You take care, bro. I'll talk to you soon, all right?